Cheese Conspiracy. Right, ladies and gentlemen, you ready for your second act in this section? Yeah. Very nice up, start that applause. Give that applause, give that applause, give that applause. Give that applause. Yeah, I told my son I was going to do a bit of stand-up comedy. He said, don't make me laugh. <laughs> I, said, I said, what? I'm just trying to bring a bit of, a bit of joy, a bit of humour into the world. He said, you trying to be funny? <laughs> I don't know what it is about the younger generation people. Um, you know, I'm just not on their wavelength anymore. I'm, I'm over 50 now. And uh, I don't really sort of get them so much. And I think part of the problem is that a lot of the time, I don't really understand what they're saying. <laughs> Example. I was uh, talking to my son the other day. I said, uh, you know, you fancy a game of squash at the weekend? He said, I could back that. <laughs> he could back that. It seemed a, a strange way of saying yes. <laughs> but, I, but I let it pass. Um, until a couple of days later in the pub, having a bite to eat. You're looking at the menu and... Um, I said, what are you going to have? You know, steak looks pretty good. He said, I could back that. <laughs> and I had, I had to intervene at this point. I said, back it? Back it? It's your dinner. It's not a horse. <laughs> Although, admittedly, we were in weather spoons. We could have been both. <laughs> the other thing he says a lot is he's not going to lie. You know, he's not going to lie. I say, how's your steak? Not going to lie, not bad. What are you up to tomorrow? Don't know, not going to lie. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's not one for lying. He's one for lying around, but he's not one for lying. And his friends are exactly the same. I hear them up in his bedroom. They say things like, she is pen, not going to lie. That is bear comp, not going to lie. It slays, not going to lie. <laughs> and I have no idea what they're talking about. <laughs> but it did strike me that we might just be raising the most honest generation of young people. <laughs> that the United Kingdom has ever known. I mean, none of them are going to lie. <laughs> and think about this for a minute. Think about the implications, profound implications for our society, a whole cohort of young people, honest young people. Crying. Think about what that's going to change in the world of business and commerce. You know, in the future, estate agents will no longer refer to a, a two-bedroom bargain uh, in need of some modernisation, nine minutes from nearest amenities and bus routes. They will simply say, not going to lie, it's a shit old man. <laughs> And when Generation Truth gets into Parliament, it's going to change our political world. It's going to turn it upside down. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I'd just like to ask my right honourable friend, the Prime Minister, what he intends to do about unemployment. Mr. Speaker, not going to lie, fuck all. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, you know, there's a problem. There's a problem with all this truth-telling. Because sometimes we need a, a bit of lying. You know, there's certain facets of modern life that require, absolutely require us to tell lies in order to work, such as stand-up comedy, <laughs> marriage, <laughs> parenting. <laughs> daddy, Daddy, I drew a picture of a butterfly. Do you like it, Daddy? Well, let's have a look, son. Oh, no, not going to lie. It's absolutely <laughs> dreadful. <laughs> it looks like a nosebleed. <laughs> So yes, people, I do have a problem with young people and their banter. And I also, and it's probably just me, I'm just getting a bit lonely. This is, I also really struggle to keep up with young people and their technology. I can just about deal with my smartphone and my smart TV. But these days, it seems to me that people are just putting the word smart in front of any noun and coming up with some new gadget to solve a problem that we never had in the first place. <laughs> so for example, I'll give you an example. Smart sleep. No, I, I, that's absolutely true. That exists. I, I, I'm not joking, and I know that most of you will know that I've not been joking all evening, but uh, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to lie. Smart sleep is a thing. It's a thing developed by Philips. It's out there. It's a thing. You strap it to your head, 
before you go to bed at night. And in the morning, it promises to tell you all the insights and data that you need for a better night's sleep. Well, forgive the scepticism, people, but if you slept well, I don't think you need a machine to tell you that. And if you haven't slept well, it might be down to the fact that you've been asleep with a bloody great electronic mask strapped to your face all night long. And there's another one. Smart glasses. I'm sure we've all heard of smart glasses. Yeah, augmented reality. Smart glasses will help you see things in the urban environment that aren't there. But yeah, so will crystal meth. <laughs> I mean, this smart thing's gone too far. We've got smart cars and smart bars. We've got smart docks and smart locks and smart clocks. We've got smart heaters, smart speakers, smart meters. We've got smart apps and smart maps and smart taps and smart cat flaps. We've got smart doorbells and smart dumbbells. I mean, whatever next? Smart coffins for the corpse determined to live a death of luxury. <laughs> smart trains specially programmed to actually turn up. <laughs> but the epicentre of all this smart stuff, people, is, of course, in the kitchen. Now, we got a smart fridge um, a few weeks ago. Um, this thing a smart fridge, it's, it's promise to the consumer is that it will keep track. You'll keep track of the people talking in the audience. No, it will, the smart fridge will keep track of the groceries inside. I mean, what are they going to do? Sell sensitive information to a foreign government? Publish subversive literature like Lady Chicory's Lover or Lolita of semi skin Milk? I don't want that from my fridge. All I want from my fridge is to tell me when I'm putting something in it that doesn't belong there. So like, cheese, bing, custard, bing, creosote, uh -uh. unexpected item in the cabbage area. <laughs> yeah, I mean, for me to get with this smart revolution, people, I need some simple products that will start to make a difference to this tiny little life of mine. So, smart socks. <laughs> Guaranteed to reunite as a pair at the end of every <laughs> Smart shoelaces. Not gonna not. <laughs> and finally, smart microphones. Specially programmed to make the job the jokes of new stand-up comedians much, much funnier. Thank you very much.